Hi, I'm Hilla Frederiksen. Welcome to the first of many video blogs in Ask HF. I've got a question from David who would like to lose some weight. He would like to lose around 6 kilograms and he would like to do it here in the off season. So he's asking me if he should uh, do a lot of low intensity longer effort training or, or how he should do it to lose weight the best way. So it's kind of um, a bigger question I'll say because off season is a period where you kind of train longer efforts and low intensity and you are focusing a lot on, on getting stronger and making a good fundament for, for the next year. So, um, so, so yeah, there is a lot of things to, to think about in the off season, especially if you want to lose a little bit of weight. But how I am seeing it, like, how do you get the best out of your off season without having um, to think a lot about weight loss? So it's only a minor focus you have on your weight loss. Um, to kind of um, point it out, what low intensity training does compared to high intensity training, um, I, I want to I talk a little bit about that. So low intensity training, the main fuel supply will be fat, whereas in high intensity training, the main fuel supply will be carbohydrates. But in high intensity training, you will spend or burn way more calories than you do in low intensity training. So even though that in low intensity training fat will be the main uh, fuel supply, you will burn so much more when you train with a high intensity. Um, so, and another interesting thing about high intensity training is that when you do train with a high intensity, um, the body when you come home from, from a session with a high intensity, the body will start to produce more lipase. And lipase is an enzyme that breaks down fat. So that is very interesting that when you then do nothing, when you come home after a, a hard session, your body will start to burn more fat when you're resting. Uh, moreover, a um, study is showing that a well-trained athlete compared to untrained athlete um, has uh, the ability to burn more fat when they're resting in general plus their metabolism in general are higher and they're actually also better at uh, burning fat while they train so there are a lot of benefits about getting into good shape and how do you get into good shape yeah you do train regularly you do train um, and, and in off season you can train you know, low intensity and longer effort, but I really do recommend that you also implement some high intensity training. And and here in the off season, so so how would you implement the fact that you want to lose some weight, but only have a minor focus on it? Yeah, I would recommend you obviously to to, to do your usually off training, which will be like the low intensity stuff, which makes you strong, and you know you put a lot of mileage in the bank. But you also should should do uh, some high int intensity training and it could be like a session a week both in swim bike run it doesn't have to be long hard sessions it could be maybe 10 times one minute max effort with like full recovery um, thereby you you burn some more calories plus you also have a higher after burning and the body will start to produce more um, lipase after training so um, for the off season mix it a little bit up don't be afraid of training hard as well and then just enjoy it